Hi everyone, welcome back to this series. Uh, today I'm going to cover the question words in Russian. Um, these are words like what, who, how, when. Uh, so we've already gone through one before, which is kak, which means how. Uh, you could say, like like last time, kak dila, how are things. Um, or you could say, for example, kak ti znaish. How do you know this? So it just means how. Um, I'll explain the word eta in another in another uh, lesson. It just means this, uh, basically. Um, so kak means how, or as. Most of the time you can understand what it means as. How, it's obvious what it means. Um, I'll give an example uh, of as. Uh, you could say something like on vigliet kak businessman, something like this. He looks like a businessman. Um, so it's like he looks as, or something like this. Anyway, it, so in some situations it means as, but most of the time it means how. Um, okay, the next question, the next question word is što, which is kind of like a weird kind of pronunciation exception because it's written with a ch, but it's pronounced with a sh. So it's it should be chto, chto, which just sounds really weird. No one pronounces it this way, they pronounce it like a sh sound. So it's kind of a weird exception. Shto, which means what or that. Um, so it depends on the situation. Uh, what if it's a question, that if it's like a connecting word. But they look exactly the same, they're exactly the same word. So for example, Shto ti delish? What are you doing or what do you do? Yes, now Shto on. I know that he, so it's the same word, shto. Um, so this is a simplified version of this because the word shto has lots and lots of different forms, uh, but I'll go through that later. This is a simplified version of the question words. Uh, the next one that also has a lot of forms is kto, which means who. So it does change in certain situations uh, later on that. Uh, but all the rest of these don't change for anything else. So there's only one form of the rest of these. So we have kak, how, što, what, kto, who. Uh, next we have gidje, which is a bit of a weird thing to kind of pronounce gdje, gdje, <laughs> a bit weird for English speakers, I guess. Gidje, which means where. Um, you can, you don't even need to say to be in Russian, which is quite useful, so Gdieti, Gdieti, or you can say Gdieti Zhivyos, where are you or where do you live? Gdieti Zhivyos. Uh, it's fairly simple. Um, as most verbs aren't too difficult and questions aren't too difficult, you normally just put question word, you verb. <laughs> so you can say, What are you doing or what do you do? where you live so it's a lot simpler than English because we have what do you do what are you doing what have you been doing it doesn't really exist in Russian we they just simply have are they have like two forms of um, I guess two tenses for present future past but I'll go through that later anyway it's fairly simple most of the time <clears throat> okay now we have a, a kind of word that doesn't really exist in English uh, it's the word kuda, which basically means where to or to where. Uh, it's used with go and things like that when you're when there's a traveling. Uh, so you can't say where are you going with gidje. It doesn't work. Uh, so the verb to go by foot is iti. It's kind of an irregular verb. So it in it would be ya idu di idiosh on idiot. Um, so it'll be kuda ti izyosh. Where are you going? You can't say gidje ti izyosh. No, <laughs> you can't say gidje ti izyosh. It doesn't work. It has to be a direction. So you say kuda. So it's kind of a word that doesn't exist in English because we would just say, Where are you going? Where are you? Where are you going? In Russian, they're different. So gidje ti kuda ti izyosh. Okay, next we have kagda, kagda, uh, which means when. 
Um, so the stress is on the A, so it's kagda, like an A sound. Um, yeah, it just means when. Uh, how would you say this? For example, you could say kagda diyosh. When are you going? Um, so yeah, it's fairly simple. <laughs> Most of these you can just simply say question word you verb and that's how you make a question because um, these are question words or you could make a statement as well you could say I don't know where he is so you can make it a statement as well um, or I don't know what he is doing so you can make it a statement as well not just a question words it's just they're called question words, I guess. And the last one uh, is also kind of split into two words that doesn't really exist in English as well. Well, I guess we kind of can say it in a different way, but we normally just use Y for everything. So for this, we have uh, which basically just means for what reason, for the reason of something. So um, what was the reason for the choice or something like this? Um, which can be quite confusing <laughs> uh, because they also have another word which is zachim. Um or you can kind of say diliachivo but anyway uh, or zashto anyway doesn't matter getting a bit too complicated so zachim is for what purpose this can be very confusing because in English we just use why or you could say for what in English like what for for what like that's for the purpose but most of the time we can just say why as well means both things. Let's say for example someone is going to the shop. Can you say for what reason? Not really. You say for what purpose? They're going there for the purpose of buying something. So you say Zachim. Zachim on idiot the magazine. Um, you can't say like Pachimu here. It doesn't work. And I make this mistake quite a lot quite often sometimes if I just don't think about it. Because it's just very unnatural for me to have to to think about it. Because you say why, you don't need to think <laughs> which which form of why do I use doesn't exist. Uh, it's just a problem with certain languages. Um, sometimes one word can be two words in other languages. <clears throat> and for what reason could be like someone made a choice. So someone made a choice, and you say put you more. Uh, Simple like that. <laughs> you don't even need to ask anything else. I guess you could say like, um, Why did you do this? Or you can just say, um, So those are the, I guess there are six question words. I guess there are, I guess, eight if you combine all of the, all the versions. But uh, I guess there are six in English and they go into eight because two of them have two forms. Uh, anyway, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.